yesterday I spoke to our mutual friend, Oleg Kashin, about, uh, who is another very brave Russian journalist, one of those who uh, has actually had his bones broken uh, as a result of his reporting. And uh, I was talking to him about the election results over the weekend, and he said, look, you have to remember it wasn't entirely faked. There is a big part of Russia that supports Putin. Do you agree with him? I disagree. Because if you look at the, uh, what happened in the election, uh, independent exit polls show that Putin got somewhere around 50%, right? He claimed to get more than 60%. In fact, he got somewhere around 50%. That, considering that it was a rigged election in the first place, there was nobody on the ballot whom Putin didn't want on the ballot, right? So he had no real opponents, and even these fake opponents weren't allowed to campaign, really. So uh, having a monopoly on the media, having a monopoly on public conversation, having a monopoly on the elections, he still got probably less than 50%. That means uh, that if there were a real fair and open election, he would get a minority. Sure, there would be some people who voted for him, but it would be a minority of Russians at this point. So there's no way to consider him a legitimate president. Okay, there's no way to consider him a legitimate president. That is a very strong statement. You might want to reconsider the trip back to Moscow tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, but where does Russia go from here? Because the election has happened. He's in the Kremlin. The election results have been acknowledged by the world, including by the State Depart the U.S. State Department. Does Russia have to wait for six years? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, tyrants create a trap for themselves because on the one hand, he, fa uh, he rigged the election. On the other hand, that means that the election can't really be used to legitimize him. So He's people not... like you don't consider that he is a democratically elected leader, is that right? Right, and I think that, uh, in fact, the country understands this. The country, uh, I mean, people know when they're fooled. Uh, this, this is something you sort of, you sense even if you don't read the opposition media. Um, and the, the real question now is, will the protest movement uh, wane for a while or will it just gain momentum? There are some people like me who think that this is, just, this is still more reason to protest. There are other people who are really demoralized because as much as they understood what was going to happen, it's still really upsetting to have the vote stolen from under you in such a brazen manner as, as, as Putin did.